Hi. Hi. <laughs> so great to see you. <laughs> it's great to see you. Welcome back. Hi. Do you want to film me? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Athena. And I'm Matt. And welcome back to our channel. Woo! So we're going, we have another tour. We do. Where are we, we going? Are, okay, we are going to CAI Showroom in Scottsdale. <laughs> trade only showroom which means it is not open to the public nope. there's many many of these showrooms that are only open to the trade which means designers and architects and their clients we will be joining dana bryant the showroom manager and he is going to take us through some wonderful spaces isn't he mm -hmm. yeah it's so beautiful i love CAI. they have a great collection of new pieces old pieces imports from yes. all over the world beautiful imports um, that can be used as specialty pieces in new projects. So we are so excited for you to be a part of this tour today. I hope you enjoy it. That was so serene. And today we are doing a special tour of one of our trade only showrooms here at the Design Center in Scottsdale. And I'd like to introduce you to Dana Bryant. He's the showroom manager, and he is going to be showing us and explaining some of the special things that CAI does here for our clients. Oh, welcome in everyone to CAI Designs at Scottsdale. It's a pleasure to have you guys come visit us, come see our products and share that process with your clients and know all of the sources and how you source for them and all of the product that's available out there. We are a to the trade only showroom and we carry over 170 lighting manufacturers and we have over 500 other vendors that supply accessories, art, furniture, you name it, from floor to ceiling. Right now I'm just loving the backdrop mm. here. The owner of our company travels the world and we do a lot of imports. So he'll travel the world and fill up containers and send them to us. This was purchased from a Chinese garden entry in China uh, about 10, 12 years ago, specifically to frame the center of our showroom here. And we've had several architects uh, try to buy it. Sometimes it was too big, sometimes it was too little, but we always seem to find something that works for them. <laughs> Wonderful. You know, we always want to provide them things that not everyone has in their homes. And this is one of the places that we can resource those products. Well, and hopefully for the most part, the vendors that we have are American made. And the purpose of having a to the trade showroom is that you find products that are not available on the retail market, available to everyone. Yes, very good. Let's take a tour. Sure. This is a table <clears throat> by uh, Julian Chichester. Ooh, they do these hammered bases. So whenever we have manufacturers like this, which most of them are, you can pick the sizes and you can pick the finishes of the bases. Uh, you can pick a variety of different tops. This is a racetrack oval. You could do a true oval. You could do a round. A lot of architects and builders that sometimes will purchase things like this from us. They'll use them to create one-of-a-kind pantry doors and kitchens sometimes a gateway to an outside courtyard. Mm. I mean, you name it, there's all kinds of, you know, places that you can use things like that. Yes, wonderful. All of our upholstery companies, you can determine the size, especially in sectionals. You can add as many pieces. You can choose the fabrics, the contrast pillow fabrics. There's all kinds of things that you can do to every single piece of upholstery to make it truly individual for every room. Look at this wonderful side table here. Oh my goodness. Another one of a kind. Yes. Beautiful, it's a metal base. And what kind of top is this? That's petrified wood. Petrified wood that's polished, yes? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. Mmm, so lot. yummy. This is the Philip Selva, one of our manufacturers that does very contemporary. This is all cherry and a very clean, very geometric, but contemporary base. And the seating pieces around mm -hmm. the table, are they from different manufacturers or the same? So the chairs are also from Philip Selva. The bench is from uh, uh, Indus. And there's a console there from John Richard. The Selva bookcases that match the wood on the table. What a nice pairing, yeah. though unexpected to say the least. 
This is Old Biscayne. They make a lot of our beds and a lot of case pieces, lots of wonderful buffets and consoles, dressers, bars, you name it, they'll make it. And tell us, Dana, Old Biscayne is made out of the, where in the United States? They're in Georgia. Georgia, that's right. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Yes, they make some really beautiful pieces, Old Biscayne. Yeah, this was a husband and wife team that started making iron beds in their garage when Joe first discovered them, and they've grown immensely as well. So grassroots American made furnishings. This is a lovely vignette that we just created because we got our new Bracci sofa. Bracci is an Italian leather line that we import, and it's all Italian and, and European leathers. But for an Italian import, it's a 10 to 12 week lead time to North Carolina and then shipping to here. And a wonderful Scott Kerr original painting above it. A Hammerton light and another Terracia coffee table. They do a lot of the substructure geometrics with thin slivers of different slabs of tree trunks. The veneer on that. It, that's beautiful. actually a slice, a slice of, a, of oh. a tree trunk. Oh, that's gorgeous. And then they miter the edges to fold down. And I see it sold already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they go quickly here. <laughs> so this is an old transport cart that came out of Indonesia. Probably was used a lot through the 17 and 1800s. Isn't probably that well fun? into the 1900s. Yes, yeah. isn't that fun? And I love how it's paired with the Terracia console. These are Rebecca chairs from Cisco Brothers out of LA, another great partner of ours. And another table from Terracia, the white Milpa Kika. Everybody loves that chair. Oh, it's so comfortable. And I love that it swivels. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, love it. And it can be without a swivel, with a swivel. It can be slip covered. It can be skirted. Tell me a little bit about this upholstery line here. This again is Cisco. Cisco out of LA. Okay, very clean. Yep, it's just one of their nice contemporary pieces, and it's done in a in a slip cover version of just a really wonderful kind of oatmeal linen blend. And tell me about the inside of these, what their specialty is as far as their cushioning and what's offered. So one of the things about the type of American-made furniture that we do is most of the frames are eight-way hand-tied, which doesn't get any better than that. The fills are always a thick foam core in the center to give you the durability and the stability. And then they have fat, death, fat, death feather and down wrap and all down 2010 blend back cushions on almost everything. Mm -hmm. Those are really the most comfortable seating to the, the majority of people. So yes. that's our, but sometimes we want to do them firmer. Yes. People with back issues. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of reasons why we'll switch to different fills. And there's a, a large variety of fills that we can put in everything that we purchase. That's great. And then that brings us back here to our lighting gallery. And again, yeah, we, we represent over 170 different lighting manufacturers. And yeah, we've got it covered from lighting. very traditional yeah. to very contemporary. And we're always putting up new things, trying to create, you know, a, a place of interest for designers so they're not always seeing the same product. This is very interesting. We're seeing a lot of that honey bronze with the black mm -hmm. and a little bit more modern. Also can be used in a transitional space. So beautiful options here. Thank you. And then that takes us right into our outdoor area. So this is all of our outdoor furniture and we've got a lot of Palachek outdoor. The Industries also makes a lot of outdoor upholstery. So it's all mildew resistant, it's quick drying. This large outdoor chaise here is actually on rise, so it's easily maneuvered around a pool. And because of its versatility, this is the small one. It comes in a larger one, and that versatility also allows us to put this in a lot of media rooms. And this is where all the kids usually hang out in the front row. We don't have to worry about popcorn and candy or anything. Oh my gosh. 
And the fabric options for outdoor are just so special these days, right? They've come a long way. Oh my gosh, back in the day when Sunbrella first started doing it, it was just nothing but solid and striped Stripes. awning fabric. <laughs> and it was really stiff. You know, you didn't really want to put it on upholstery. Now, people use outdoor fabrics for indoor all the time. Wonderful, and even the feel of this, I wish you could feel it. It's so soft and comfortable. So, and this can just be sprayed off, right? Yeah, absolutely. Rinsed you off can, with you can take that outside and hose it down. Yeah. Another import, we do a lot of altar tables and consoles like that. There's an old Chinese wedding cabinet, mm -hmm. you know, for display or, you know, so storing linens and things like that, a hallway or a, a master bedroom. And we do a lot of original art. This is a piece by Cater Bowley back here. He's a young man that came from Nairobi and just was hitting the art scene here. And after he got published, you know, he really blew up. <clears throat> but still a, just a really popular artist that we carry a lot of his work. Okay, so over here, Dana, we have so many different fabrics available. Tell us what those are for. So each one of our manufacturers for upholstery carries their own line of graded in fabrics. So you can see here, this whole wall over here is all Lee Industries. They do a lot of performance fabrics. They do a lot of indoor, outdoor fabrics, all the little tags hanging. Up here in the back, this is all Burton James. We've got Cisco Brothers down here, Marge Carson, Palachak. I mean, the list goes on. Every single one of our furniture manufacturers has graded in fabrics and most often fit the needs of our designers. But of course, we can always do COM on a fabric that a designer might choose elsewhere. And COM means that the client has chosen a fabric or the designer has recommended a fabric outside of the standard line of each of these manufacturers. So it's stands for customer's own material and oftentimes a designer will choose to place COM fabric on pieces just to make them special and unique to that particular project. But again, we do have all these manufacturers that have graded in fabrics and we often use those as the base of some of our upholstery pieces, would you say? Absolutely, because yes. they pretty much got it covered, but like I said, you know, you don't always find everything you want from one vendor. You can't be all things to all people. That's right. And we can mix, mix and match one fabric to another vendor, just yes. like a COM. A lot of good options here that are graded in though. And graded in means that that fabric comes with the actual price of the piece included. It is not on top of a price like a COM fabric would be. Right. Correct? Right. Okay. And you and you save some money by doing graded in fabrics. You do. Yeah. This is also a unique program that you have it's creating your own bed. Right, and this is Freemark Industries, and their bed is right here on this wall behind us. And it's, you can pick a frame, and, you know, a headboard design, you can pick a fabric, you pick a wood finish, but we've got quite a few vendors that you can create your own cabinets, you can create your own sectionals. Some of them, when you are putting together a sofa or a sectional, and you want to change the leg, change the base, change a back height to customize things and they all have build your own kind of programs which is wonderful yeah because not really all customized. ceiling heights are the same not all headboard walls are the same you may have some challenges there width wise or height wise and so a program like this makes all it right. fit just right so this is the difference between buying off the rack and making it your own yes Dana thanks so much for taking us through today so before we go is this your only location or are you guys based globally or where? Well, our corporate offices are in Arlington Heights, Illinois. Mm -hmm. And we have a very large showroom in the Merchandise Mart in Chicago. Arlington Heights is a suburb of Chicago. So a lot of the designers that don't live in the downtown Chicago area will go to the Arlington Heights because they don't want to have to go into the city. And then we have a showroom about like this in Denver. And oh. then we have Scottsdale. So we have four showrooms. Awesome. And you can see CAI Designs online at caidesigns.net. It's a beautiful website. You can at least look at product and then always ask your designer if you're interested in something, you know, for pricing. And Dana's always available to help. He's been such a tremendous help. We just put a home together with Dana and it was just seamless. So I encourage you at any time to reach out to Interiors Remembered and let us know if you're interested in doing a showroom tour so that you can see all the options that are available. And we look forward to seeing you guys again soon. A pleasure. <laughs> Thank you, Dana.
So wasn't that good? Oh, it was so good. I love CAI. Dana was great. Dana's always great. Thank you, Dana from CAI Thanks, for Dana. taking us on the tour. We really appreciated it. And they always have new things coming to that showroom. So that means they're always refreshing the pieces. We get to see new things all the time. We feel privileged to be able to do that in our industry. And we love to shop. Of course. So you, you call <laughs> us and we'll take you and we'll go shopping there. <laughs> it's really a great experience. So thank you for joining us today. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.